massive fan of Cold Feet yeah. when it was out in the 90s, yeah. and I was so excited to see it come back. Yeah. How do you feel about it being back? Well, a lot of people were massive fans about it, and that was one of the, and then people thought it was of its time, and that was probably a reason for not bringing it back. And and so a lot of people, well, we were all apprehensive about it. Um, ITV wanted to do it. Mike Bullen thought he he could um, find more juice in the characters. He's and the writer. He's the writer. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we all had a chat with him, and it turned. He, he's, he's always allowed in the five years we did it. We always allowed us to develop. Always allowed us to get older, and and learn from not learn from our mistakes, but sort of you know, be dented by our mistakes. And then so the 13-year gap, in a sense, it's it's worth doing again because he's not. We're not sort of harking back to what we were. We're accepting the fact of what we are now and how we learned from, from life, and probably not, you know. <laughs> Do you know, I don't know what I was doing when it first, when it went out first time around, but yeah. I didn't watch it at all, yeah. you know, you're saying you yeah. didn't. Yeah, it was part I didn't of my see life. it, yeah. but a lot of people are already making the point that you don't have to have seen the, the you yeah. know, the original yeah. series, do you, to, to kind of jump into these it lives? It seems not. I mean, I, that was, I was, we were all sort of worried about that, I and mean, we didn't, didn't know how people would take to it if they hadn't had the, sort of done all their homework, you know. But, uh, yeah, and I had a call from a, set, a friend's son the other day. He's 18. He hadn't seen it before. And he was into it. And his mates were into it. And it seems to have got a... I mean, I say this only from experience, from people telling me. It seems to have got a really wide range of, 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 of ages watching it. It's not just a sort of, you know, saga. And people looking back at the old, mess, uh, the old episodes as well, catching up on those to kind of get in tune with, with what's happening now. Although, as Charlie rightly said, you don't need mm. to. What was it like when you all got back together in that, you know, the yeah. script reading and kind yeah. of seeing the relationships, how you were gelling? Well, that was something we were all very apprehensive about because we hadn't, we hadn't seen much of each other. We worked very closely for that five years. We'd seen each other a bit. And then we all suddenly, it was all rebooted. We were, we're back, back together again. And it was actually re worked really well. I mean, Mike had written these characters and, and, and so we were all really, really enjoyed playing these characters again. But on a personal level, yeah, it actually, it was, it was really good. And we've all, you know, things have changed in our lives as well. And we've all looked out for each other a bit. And, and, and it, on a personal level, which doesn't necessarily make the show any better, but on a personal level, it was, it was really, really enjoyable. I was going to ask that question. How much does life imitate art? Because you said, you know, you're all of a certain age too. I mean, you, you know, you have age with yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. And your lives, presumably, individually, personally, have changed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. I mean, you know, you accumulate grief and all those other things like that as, as life goes on and so we've all, we've all sort of uh, and things have changed in, in all our lives so uh, yeah I don't think life imitates I don't personally sort of um, try and draw on myself for the character so you're not hapless as your character <laughs> I think that's <laughs> fair that's isn't it's up. fair to say about <laughs> David's character yeah yeah maybe but no I don't look I don't look <laughs> I don't look inward to see how the character should be played I look to see what's on the script you know and play it there. it's interesting as well that new characters have been brought in because um, we've got Yes. The son of um, James Nesbitt is yes. obviously a new yes. character. Yes. His new partner, I'm not giving anything away, or yes. proposed yes. partner as well. Yes. That brings yes. new life to the show as well, doesn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. I mean, uh, again, in, in indication of how Mike allows us to develop, you know, the babies. We had the baby twins and, and my son, Josh, you know, they're all, you know, they're all you know, 18, 19, you know, 16, 18. And um, Pete and Jenny, their, their children are grown up. Other characters, yes, coming in and, and new interests. So, no, it's not, it's not held in aspic, you know, it's not, it's not how, how it was. It's just. It's a development, it's not a remake. And you, we did mention in the, uh, in the introduction to you the idea of another series. I mean, it's very early days, I suppose, but do you know, if uh, has anything happened? Have you been told anything? No, I mean, we, you know, we're, they, they'll see how things, how things run. It, it looking, it's looking good, you know, people, people seem to be enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, we're sort of optioned for another one, but there's no, no commitment to that by, by the channel. So, um, yeah, and, and there is, uh, when we did the first one, I remember with the first series, people said, oh, that's it, you know. We did the pilot, people said, oh, that's it. You know, and, and this, this series may be it, you know, who knows? We'll see how, how it goes. Uh, but uh, we've always assumed that it will be the last one, but there's, and it's, it has developed historically, but whether it does again, who knows? Have you enjoyed it? I have loved it. We've loved it because it's, yeah, it's about people being rubbish at life. You know, it's, it allows for failure. It's nothing... It's, it's got a sort of sheen of cool, but it isn't. It's, it's all about people just struggling, you know, just, just, just somehow keeping their head above water. And just. those scenes, of, uh, of the, scene, the, the stag party uh, scene, yeah. of sort of middle-aged men yeah. sort of stroking their chins a bit and thinking, <laughs> ooh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's very well observed. Oh, it is. Mike, Mike's done a fantastic job on that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it is. And it, it's, it's, it's all uh, lots of human frailty in there, which is, you know, you're seeing people having a rubbish time. It's, it's fun. Very good to see you here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. Gold Feet continues with episode three on Monday night at nine o'clock on ITV.